This is its largest garden to date, greening the rubble's places of tranquility, covers 1,200 square metres in the city centre, an initiative by the Canterbury District Health Board that seeks to include the city's ethnic communities and traditions, cultures and spiritual beliefs in the rebuild. She noticed that a lot of the ethnic communities weren't being engaged with the rebuild and their conversation was kind of getting lost. So she came up with this idea of places of tranquility to reflect um, their ideas of tranquility and their spaces. These carvings and communal spaces representing Māori and Pacifica cultures. Contrasting against the other half of the garden, its secluded and singular spaces reflect greater Southeast Asia. And they're meant to reflect the different cultures' ideas of uh, tranquility and also native flora and fauna. The project took eight weeks to construct on the former site of the Canterbury Manufacturing Association. The Canterbury Earthquake Recovery Authority now owns the land. They're leasing it to greening the rubble for the next two years. Plans to bring the empty lot to life were created by Lincoln University students who won a design competition back in 2012. And they had a design competition for each of the six gardens. There was, I think, four students per uh, region and they designed and then were voted on by the local communities about what their favourite design was. Most of the plants and materials used here have been donated by the community. The garden's large tree, best known for donning its own hivers outfit, has now been stripped of its bright orange coat. When we started here, we were like, oh, we'll keep it, and then we noticed it was getting quite tattered. So, and then when we had a closer look at the tree, the tree was not really loving it that much, so we just talked to Peter and he came down and agreed to remove it. Greening the rubble is hoping to secure two more sites to complete the entire project. Emma Cropper, CTV News.